Hi, I'm Anil Jain, MD Gangwal Group of Companies, uh, in existence for now more than 35 years. I'm a first generation entrepreneur and a chartered accountant by qualification. I want to share my views today on how we can enhance the collaboration and increase the convergence between nutraceuticals and pharmaceuticals to enable the disease, uh, reduce the disease burden in India. First, it's important to understand how medications and nutrients or nutraceuticals or supplements function in the human body. The term nutraceuticals refer to the range of products that could be natural, that could be synthetic, that primarily target health promotion and disease prevention. Contrary to this, the goal of medications is to cure a particular disease or ailment. Nutraceuticals are being studied more and more and nowadays many clinical studies are happening and they even go up to the phase 3 of drugs. However, due to low investments in supplement studies, they are not being taken forward as a drug. Another important aspect is the lack of credible clinical studies. The subjects are very few in numbers compared to uh, a drug study. Also, the bioavailability of many nutraceutical substances is another matter of concern. Manufacturers need to invest in drug delivery systems to enable clinically approved dosages to be delivered rightly. Also proper controls have to be placed on nutraceutical products manufacturing. This needs to be very very strictly monitored so that manufacturers tend to take GMP uh, very very strongly and there should be a proper monitoring by government authorities and more than that quality consistency has to be ensured. We can also work on co-prescribing supplements and drugs. This is something which I have been advocating for a pretty long time. For example, statins at 10 mg level and above may lead to issues with the bone. However, a similar effect may be had with statins at 5 mg together with say for stenol 3.5 grams. But again, no drug company globally is interested in doing clinical studies on the same. We have observed that in India, a focus has been made on the presentation of nutraceuticals and herbal remedies that are efficient in treating severe oxidative stress related diseases such as allergy, Alzheimer's, lifestyle diseases, oncology, bone health, etc. Calcium, iron. Government is very strongly focused now and working on strengthening Ayush and creating a good environment and platform for Ayurveda research. Gangwal is also contributing a little bit of its own. It has set up a state-of-the-art manufacturing and glass facility. Glass is Gangwal Laboratory Analytical Services whereby we ensure the quality of highest standards. The facility has also been audited and approved by NSF. The objective of Gangwal Group as such remains to be innovative, to be the first to provide a solution to emerging technologies and have a noticeable impact on the fields of fitness, wellness and health. The aim of every stakeholder in Nutra is to strive towards achieving a drug status, thereby enabling a cure and not just the treatment with the least side effects. Thank you.